Dzień dobry, cześć and hello. Today, guys, I'm going to be making a video on the seven things that Polish people are not going to like about the U.S. This is really just my opinion, but yeah, today is just going to be a list that I've kind of compiled from talking to Polish people in Poland on what they like and don't like, and also my girlfriend who's been traveling to the States a couple times now. So without further ado, guys, let's just get started. All right, so the first one on my list that I know Polish people are not going to like about the U.S. is our summers, okay? Our summers can be actually pretty brutal now i've been in poland during the summer a couple times there and when i've talked to polish people there you know a lot of the times you know during the summer i've heard like you know that the weather is so hot and that you know and that it feels miserable outside and i don't really understand this because a lot of polish people will be complaining about the heat if it's around 23 to 30 degrees celsius with a relatively low humidity and when you compare this to the states i mean you can get temperatures up to at least 37 degrees celsius with 100 percent humidity and i know this is something that polish people are definitely not gonna like so one of the times my girlfriend was over I actually took her to Kentucky in July and she was absolutely miserable and she really couldn't stand it at all and now she really understands what I mean by the humidity when it's 100% humidity or close to that I mean it is so muggy outside you walk outside and you're instantly sweating so I think that's also a big difference too is that the summers are a lot more mild in Poland and that's why you don't really see a whole lot of homes with air conditioning but I really don't think Polish people are gonna like the summers in the US so if you're coming another time maybe come in the fall or spring now the second one on my list is strangers talking to you now in the US it's actually a big part of our culture I guess you could say is that strangers talk to each other this could be if you're just at like the gas pump or if you're at a grocery store and you see someone and you know they just say hi or you know how's it going and that can actually happen and it can happen quite often really and this is actually something that i definitely like about the u.s because talking to strangers is something that i definitely like to do and even though i'm introverted i for some reason like talking to strangers at random places but in poland i know this is kind of different see if you go up to a stranger and you just say you know you're going to be seen as someone who is you know kind of weird and i've learned that from Polish people when I've talked to them about that I honestly didn't really realize how big small talk is here in the US until I went over to Europe and talked to Polish people about this and small talk seems to not really be a big thing in Poland and it's only a thing if you're you know talking to the clerk or cashier and that's honestly really the only times I've ever seen it in action actually so I know that this is going to be something that Polish people won't really like because talking to strangers for Polish people can definitely be, you know, a little uncomfortable at most times. All right. So the third one on my list is going to be prices and this is going to be prices in general and also sticker prices. So to start with prices in general are honestly going to be much higher in the U.S. than in Poland. Now, you know, honestly, with electronics, it's actually much lower. Now, typically cell phones, TVs and cameras can be found for a lower price than in Poland but for the most part prices are much higher in the US than in Poland now another thing to keep in mind is that the sticker price on the shelf is not always the price that you're gonna pay so a lot of the times you're gonna be told a price or seen a price and really they haven't added taxes onto it yet so for example I used to work at a front desk for a hotel for a pretty big and famous hotel and people would come in from all over the world really and a lot of the times when foreigners would come in and I would give them the whole rundown and tell them the price of what I was told to do but then when I would tell them you know this is the whole price and then this is the taxes this is the lodging fee and a lot of the times they would be really pissed and honestly rightfully so because it's it's definitely really annoying and I don't like it honestly myself and I don't think most Americans do really either but it's just the thing that you kind of have to deal with here is that typically, you know, there's also taxes added to the final fee. So if you're ever going to be buying a phone or, you know, renting a hotel or doing any of that, you know, just ask what the taxes are and what the extra fees are going to be, because there is going to be some. Now, there's actually some states that don't have taxes on certain specific items, but that can be too confusing for this video. So you just have to look it up on your own. And honestly, I don't even know myself. All right. So moving on to number four, and this is going to be a weird one, but this this is public toilets now I know I have boasted about our toilets here and really just like the accessibility to get them I definitely don't really like them reason being is because our toilets suck now when you go into the toilet and close the door typically in most bathrooms in the US really everywhere in the US I've been except a few places there's gonna be like a gap that's like
like three inches big and it's really weird and it's also really creepy i think i've mentioned this in a video before and so if someone's walking by the bathroom they can easily look through that entire gap and they can see right there and it's just it's really creepy and it's really weird and i don't know why our bathrooms are designed like that and i'm sure most polish people would definitely not like that about the us and honestly i myself included and i think most americans don't really like it as well i don't know why you would unless you're into that kind of thing that's actually something that i've appreciated from poland is that their toilets you know their doors have zero gap and it usually goes from the floor to like a meter above you so yeah like i said this is kind of a weird one but it's definitely something polish people will not like about the us and my girlfriend specifically hates this and she thinks it's so weird and so creepy to have and honestly I don't blame her. Alright, so number five on my list, and this is where the dislikes come in, is the accessibility to guns. Now, I know most Polish people don't really like guns on average. Now, I know there's some that do, and you know, there is guns in Poland and there's shooting ranges, but I think a lot of Polish people on average don't like the accessibility to guns, and that's honestly, you know, that can be said for most Europeans as well. And I also think that Polish people would not like the option to buy guns in a grocery store like you can in Walmart. But yeah, I don't think that Polish people really like the accessibility of guns in the US. All right, so the next one on my list is artificial food. I think in general, Polish people wouldn't like this about the US. I myself don't like this either. I mean, I feel like for the most part, the most diabetic, cancerous, artificial foods have been created in the US, you know, Doritos, Mountain Dew, and it's led to so many different health problems here. And I think it's just something that, you know, most Polish people really wouldn't like. And I feel like in general, in Poland, most of the food is really real, I guess you could say. And it's, it doesn't really have all of this artificial stuff and flavorings in it and it tastes a lot more authentic the one thing i would say about the u.s is that we have so many different options of food because you know there's all of these different cultures and peoples coming together and you know starting their own restaurants and you know food companies and all that so there's a lot of different options here which i think is pretty cool and i feel like there's less variety and options in poland when it comes to food from other countries and or i would also go on to that that there really isn't a whole lot of you know maybe vegan options for the vegan food folk out there you know like for example almond milk is available there but it's like twice as expensive as it is in the US so that's just something else to think about if you're maybe vegan or you know lactose intolerant I feel like there's not really as many options as there are here in the US when it comes to that all right so the seventh one on my list would be blocking the left lane in traffic on the highway now I know in Poland this is also a fine if you were to do this and the police were seeing you do that you would basically get a fine or a ticket and that's also also a rule and a law here in the US as well but it's actually not enforced in any way so I've talked to a couple different Polish people about that and I know that this is one of the things that they would definitely not like about the US is people blocking traffic for absolutely no reason and being completely oblivious and just not even know what's going on behind them or that people want to get by it's it's honestly one of the things that I really don't like and it definitely makes me super mad and if you were to go up behind them and like flash your blinkers and like ride really really close to their car I feel like for the most part they would get really mad and you know road rage is a pretty big thing here in the US all I can say is that in general people would get really pissed off about that and they wouldn't even move okay so something that I've noticed is that Americans take their egos to their vehicles a lot I don't know why that is but a lot of Americans don't like being passed at all especially in the highway and if they're about to they'll speed up and they'll basically just be kind of a jerk to make sure you can't pass them but it's definitely something that I wish was more enforced here in the US so we we wouldn't even have to deal with this issue at all but yeah i'm just warning you guys the Polish drivers out there that this is something that's definitely going to make you mad when you come over to the u.s all right guys so for the polish people out there who have been to the u.s what are some of the things that you don't like about the u.s i'm honestly genuinely curious because i would love to know i feel like this is something that honestly kind of interests me about what people don't like about the u.s now avoiding the topics of guns and healthcare, what are some of the things that you actually don't like about the u.s let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, so that's actually it for the video today. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Jinkoi, Dovitenya.